Hey, what's up guys? Escobar52 and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, please make sure that you like this video, you subscribe and you comment down below as I do enjoy seeing all of your comments. Now today we have got the Bicycle Weapons Gaff Playing Cards by Eric Ross Productions. <laughs> For those who have not seen gaff playing cards before or know what gaff playing cards are, these are some ingenious tricks that are on the market. This is probably one of the best ones that are out there. This comes with a full 30 minute video download of how to do every single trick that is in this box. As well as that, these have a red and a blue rider bicycle back, so you can incorporate that into your basic routines that you already have with some of the playing cards that you may already have. This came out in 2015. There have been some gaff playing cards that have come out since then. The recent of that is the Cartamundi Copac 310 Gaff 2 Pack, which I am looking forward to trying to get my hands on and have a look at that. But today we're going to have a look at these ones. It is worth mentioning that some of the gaffs in this are no longer on the market and hence why this is a really good gaff pack. As well as that, there are a lot of new gaffs that are included inside the deck. And of course, this has been brought to you by Eric Ross, Garrett Thomas, Wayne Hoochin, Downhouse, Down and White, and Doug Conn, to mention a few. These are some of the collaborators that have put some of the magic into this. So this is a nice and sweet video today. I'm going to try and get this edited and posted up for Wednesday. So if this is on Wednesday, woohoo! If it's not, sorry guys. So this is, um, I am doing this entirely off my own back with my own money to try and do all these reviews and do some of these things. So if there's anything that you want to send me, I, I will happily take that and I will happily review it. Uh, I do know that there are, so the Raven playing cards have been pushed back, so I will review them when they come. And the Mint playing cards should be printed in March, so I will review them as and when they come out. There are, the Chris Ramsey V2s are coming up soon, I'm hoping to get some of them and I will review them when they come in. I am looking to do um, Ian Frisch's book, Magic is Dead. If that's something that you'd be interested in seeing a review about that, do drop a comment below. Uh, as you notice today, so we are in a different location, so this is some part of my bedroom as the boiling man is in at the minute and he is fixing some of the radiators so we have some heat as it's been quite cold. Now I'm not going to get into too much detail showing you every single gaff cards in there because that just kind of ruins the magic and some of the people watching this I may perform some of these gaff tricks to you. So there's been a lot of information so let's have a look at some of the gaff tricks in effect. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed those tricks that I put up there. These are some of my favourite bits from the gaff pack. Now there are some matrix bits in there, there are also some sort of funny little farting king gaff tricks which I think is quite cool and some coin tricks. So I mean they're still in there for me to have a little explore with so I am looking forward to that. Because this isn't any normal deck, I'm not going to do it as a deck review, no this is just sort of a baby screaming and um, this is just a uh, sort of like an informative sort of thing about gaff and gaff discussion now i think the gaff cards are well to be honest it's a much easier way than having to construct a card using some of the techniques that you may have seen on magic stream or from your favorite magicians likewise they do involve a bit of slight hand but that is okay that is fine are they practical in a real world situation 
yes, because I've done a few with my partner and some family, and they've been a little bit like, oh, I've done that. They haven't even thought that it may have been printed, so that's awesome. Are they good for street magic? Yes. Are they good for close up magic? Yes. So this has definitely got a real world application in half. There's a lot of quick stuff that you can just and it's done very quick, very visual magic, and it's in your face and you're going to see it. That's what I love about the gaff decks. It's definitely good for Instagram videos and YouTube videos, which is something that people watching this who are magicians starting out with something that may capture people's attention on Instagram and get them to convert their attention to a follow. So I definitely suggest. Uh, picking up a gaff of one of your favourite decks and just having fun with it because to be fair there's some bits in there that you've gone through and you think oh not this for and it, that's got the video tutorial and it's quite good it shows you that with the copan runner I'm not sure it does I haven't looked into it it just gives you a uh, sort of scope to free your imagination and deliver something quite spectacular from just something silly which is a brilliant gaff decks definitely on my list of things that Aspiring Magician should use as it's quite a quick and effective way to draw to someone's attention and hopefully try and get booked for gigs. Okay guys, so if you haven't already, check me out on Instagram down below. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, you subscribe and you comment down below. All of that stuff. And yeah, have a good week guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!